don't know is a pop culture and comic book expo with some awesome people in costumes and a whole lot of comics. Let's check it out! So Supernova is basically a trade show. There's comic books everywhere, there's figurines, there's all these things you can buy, and there are a lot of celebrities that go as well, which is really, really cool. But the biggest draw for me is always that there are cosplayers. The sense of community that you get from being here, like everyone who's dressed up in costume is super excited and all the little kids dress up too. And yeah, it, it feels like you uh, belong, which is really cool. So for those who don't know, cosplay is basically when people make a costume and dress up as their favorite character. And it's particularly rife at pop culture expos like this as if there are people dressed up in comic book outfits, there are people dressed up as anime characters or as sci-fi characters. There's a lot of Doctor Who and it's really, really cool to see all the variety. For the most part, female cosplayers are just so passionate that it really shows through all of their work. And, um, you know, a lot of the guys are really, really good too, but females, you can just tell that they've crafted every single detail and they have to wear heels and it's so uncomfortable. So I really, really respect female cosplayers. So while some of the cosplayers are really, really awesome and really get into character, they're not all that great. There are Deadpools everywhere, and I feel like a lot of people just go on eBay and buy a really cheap Deadpool costume just so that they have the excuse to get away with being a jerk all day, and I kind of hate that. There are some that are really well done and really well crafted, but for the most part, Deadpool equals obnoxious jerk. So you guys, I have a massive collection of statues at home and I don't have enough females. I was gonna make a female shelf of characters, but I want more. So today I'm gonna go on a hunt to find some more female video game characters. Let's check it out. I actually just started getting collector's editions of games that I really liked. And then from there, I just found like other little cheap things on eBay and then progressively started spending more and more money. And now I have probably like over $10,000 worth of collectibles easily. If I could get a female video game character I would like Ayane from Dead or Alive, uh, Alisa from Tekken. Um, I do really like Samus Aran, but I can't find any of her that aren't really sexualized as well. Um, Zelda could be a really, really good one, but all the Zelda statues I've seen are super expensive, so... I mean, there's, there's quite a few. Maybe a femship, but the problem is finding them. Look, I found a girl. Oh wait, her boobs are out. I would consider buying that. That's Mari from Evangelion, and I do really like her. But I would prefer a video game. That there, Batman Arkham City Battering, I would buy that if it weren't $999. And massive, I don't know where I would put it. So the biggest celebrity that's here this year, and probably the biggest draw to the expo, is Stan Lee, who's the creator of Spider-Man for one, which is kind of a big deal. And he's actually just about to do a panel, so let's go check it out. Look, we're in the entertainment business. So the one thing that I've tried to do all my life with my stories and with everything we did was entertain people. I would like to think that you enjoy reading the books, that they give you enjoyment, that you are entertained by reading them and seeing the movies. And that's enough for me, as long as I get paid for it also. <laughs> but the important thing is, if we can entertain the reader, if we can entertain the moviegoer, then we're doing our job right. If we don't entertain you, we ought to be in another business. How's that? Nice, well thought out, serious answer. I hope you're all taking notes. <laughs> I thought that Stan Lee was absolutely adorable. Um, he took little digs at DC, which I thought was really, really funny as well. So I, I guess he was a lot funnier and a lot more energetic than I expected him to be, which made it just really, really entertaining. You know, I think maybe if I can't find a video game character just in the spirit of Stan Lee, maybe I'll hunt down some Marvel characters. I'm going to show you guys what I got here. The first one is a Venom statue. I do already have Venom, but I couldn't go past this one. Hyrule Historia, which is like the Zelda Bible slash encyclopedia. I've been trying to track one of these down for a really long time, so I'm extremely glad to actually have one now. And then this last one here is a Civil War Asia Series 1 Wolverine. Um, I just thought he was really cool and kind of cartoony, that classic bulky Wolverine from the comic books. And he is about 4.9 inches tall and pretty wide. That's the pose there. I guess overall I really like Supernova as one, a way to see awesome cosplayers. That's always so fun seeing everyone get into the spirit of it. Um, having all of your celebrities or voice actors that you know from your childhood, like uh, Ash Ketchum from Pokemon was at the last uh, Gold Coast one, which is just crazy cool to get to meet those people or even just see those people who had such an influence on your life, potentially if you're into pop culture kind of stuff. And um, the sense of community is, is really outstanding. You know that every single person there probably has something in common with you and is equally excited as you to be there. So it's, it's really cool to see. But I do also love to uh, splurge a little and I always know when I'm going to Supernova that I need to save a little bit of money so that I can add some sweet stuff to my collection. 
I'm Alana, and this is Fuck Flash.